Now, I actually modified this model. It's good to understand how you can copy things in records or return immutable data that is kind of a copy of the other piece. It retains some of the properties. Let's whip out the JavaScript real quick. So we'll go to Node and we'll create a basic object called person with a first name of Grappe and an age of 39. When we have a birthday, the age changes. So my birthday was Friday, which is about two or three days ago. It's already, already a blur. And my name doesn't change. Just because I, ch I turn 40 doesn't mean my name changes, other than to old guy Jesse. L O L O L O L. So what we do is we make a copy of that because we want to be functional programming developers and use immutable data so we don't mutate objects. The way you can do that easily in JavaScript is two ways, either object assign or you can just return destructured data. So we'll say person2 is person, with da, 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 person that's basically copying all the properties over, but change the age property to 40. And so now if we log out person, main again, you can still see we, we didn't mutate the original value. And person two is there, it's a brand new object. It copied the first name property over, but it changed this one to a brand new value. Because it's by val and it set it on this one, it didn't affect the other one by either reference or modifying. So no mutation. It's a basic way to do immutability in JavaScript. And you can do something similar in Python, that is elegant. Instead of whipping out really draconian ways of doing cloning data or using something like immutable JS, that's how you do basic ways. Now this pattern, is so popular, you can do the same thing in Elm. So let's whip out the Elm REPL and create the same person. Person, first name equals Grafe, and the age is 39. And so now we have the same person we had before, but if you want to create a person, uh, you can do the same thing you did before. You basically take the person, you don't even have to do the dot, 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 and you just use a pipe symbol. Think of the pipe symbol as a euphemism for JavaScript when you do this, and a comma. In Elm, you just literally say the object you want to copy or modify or create a mutable version of and change a couple properties. You can do one or many properties. You can do as many as you want here. For now, we're just going to do one. We're going to change the age equal to 40, and it didn't change anything. So if you log out person again, you can see it's 39, and you log out person A, and it's a completely different value with the age change.